Hello and welcome back to the Taylor Louise Budgets YouTube channel. You are here with me today for my March reset video. I have been blessed with the opportunity to film this video on the last day of the month, but I do want to take a second. I know it's going to be almost another week before you see this video, but I want to take a second and say that I'm thinking of you to all of the people throughout Brisbane that have been suffering because of these floods, all of the people that have had to evacuate, that have lost their stuff, that have been put in danger because of these floods. Like it is a, an insane weather event that we've been witnessing. And I just, wanted to take a second to say that my heart goes out to you today yeah let's get on with the reset we're going to go through my goals we're going to go look at what i've read this month and we're going to set priorities and intentions for the month ahead so let's get First thing that I like to do is always to look at what my last month looked like in terms of my sticker spread and then to just refresh and start off with an idea of what my new month looks like. So I have already filmed this video of doing the stickering. So check that out on my channel if you're interested. But this is my new spread. I do need to come back throughout this video and fill some bits in. But now I can get started with prepping for March. Let's go. Alrighty, so when we look at March, first of all, what we see is that my main idea, my main focus, my word of the month was routine. This came directly from my vision board for the year, which I'll flick on screen now. And my idea within that is to build healthy habits around my work schedule. I wouldn't say I achieved this. I definitely worked on it, but we still have more work to do on this. Habit I wanted to break was midweek coffee. <laughs> I definitely limited this. I was drinking my Nespresso's most mornings, but I did have some sneaky Zarafas. It actually became a thing that a couple of times my partner dropped me off a Zarafas coffee to work on my busy days. And that was just so soul filling that I don't know if it's a habit I wanna break. <laughs> and then habits I wanna make, meal prep for work. I definitely made sure I had meals ready to go for work and daily movement. I definitely did not make that habit but the weather really impacted my month. So I wasn't able to do the daily movement that I had planned. Some of my extracurricular daily movement activities were canceled for reasons beyond my control. And so, yeah, it just didn't happen. City K floats. So I wanted to use one of these as I bought them on Boxing Day in a sale, but I did decide to push it back till next weekend because I do have a big netball game on the Saturday. So I thought it might be a really good thing to do on the Sunday. However, last month, I might not flick back to it, but last month I had on the schedule for this month's self-care a remedial massage and I did get that this month. So while I didn't do City Cave, I did get a remedial massage. So I feel like that counts as self-care. Nothing important about February to me. <laughs> Feb 8, finish Feb bills. I definitely did that. Prep March bills. I did that for the most part. It's almost complete. I've got less than $200 to put towards March bills now. And bill tracker, I started filming this and posting about it. And yeah, so that was really good. Um, blood test results I got. Everything's all good. Don't need to be concerned. Then we'll slide on over, over to my monthly goals where read two books and the crucible. I did this. Healthy, productive work routine. I don't know if I can highlight that one off, let's be honest. $10,000 to IOG. I hit this goal. Halfway there. Sinking fund growth. A thousand, over a thousand dollars. I did not. I'm going to highlight the 500 because I definitely was over 500, but I was not over a thousand. And you'll, you can check out on my Instagram. There's going to be a post going up about exactly how much sinking fund growth I had, but it was over 500, less than a thousand this month. Prep March bills in full. Ooh. I'm going to highlight prep March bills, but not in full. I feel like actually, you know what? I'm going to because the only things that I haven't highlighted off are things like my nails, a lash appointment, and some netball. So all of my actual bills that aren't variable, that aren't non-essential are prepped for. So yes, I'm highlighting that off. Exercise schedule. I definitely wrote a schedule, but I wasn't able to follow it because of the weather. Dog walk weekly. Again, the amount of times that I was looking at my dog's lead and then looking outside and it was just, there was no breaks in the rain. I just, yeah, no, I was able to throw the ball with her outside, but I wasn't able to actually take her on a walk. Eat out twice per week only. I am going 
to highlight this because on average, this is correct. There was a week that I ate out once and there was a week that I ate out three times and that was be all because of social events. So the, for the purpose of this being for health, I, I'm going to say, yes, I completed that. Then we have my post schedule. So yes, I was posting every three days on YouTube and Instagram. However, my schedule is going to change this next month and you'll see when I make my monthly goals. Friend catch up did happen and gifted content did happen. And I've got some more gifted content coming next month and I couldn't be more excited about it. So that is my February goals little check-in. So we can jump to my reflection. look at what we have here what am i grateful for this past month my solid relationship with my other half friendships i had some really good catch-ups with friends this last month and financial security my job security and all of that i'm just really grateful for what did i learn you can do everything but not all at once i tend to get really stressed and overwhelmed when i try to do everything at the same time my to-do lists get a little bit crazy and because of that my mental health takes its toll so i can do everything but i can't do it all at once accomplishments i'm proud of growth in teaching subjects i'm not familiar with i have taken on a subject this year that i haven't trained in and i feel like i'm doing really well consistency on social media that was a big goal of mine for last month to post every three days and i'm so glad that i did it what can i improve on next month food balance I tend to get to the weekend and then it's a lot of bad food, but through the week I'm able to show consistency. So I just want to be more balanced with that, particularly when it comes to the weekends. And then I wrote in the wrong category here, but habits I want to work on next month are my healthy habits, particularly movement, because there were so many things that stopped me from getting this right in February. That is my reflection. It's almost meditating to fill that out. So this is where we tend to move into the new month. So this March layout, I actually plan to use to track my spendings this month because I was only tracking last month on my phone, in my notes, and then I was deleting it. Um, I wasn't really tracking or counting it up, but I feel like this is a good space for it because if I flick back to February, I didn't really use it. I'm keen to track February in here, but I will just highlight off my pay cycles, I think. March monthly overview. Enjoy. So we have my goal of healthy habits. I want to break the habit of a weekend pig out. I want to make the goal of smaller to-do lists. I still, my city cave, I want to do that this month. Um, I wrote the birthdays in the wrong spot, but that's okay because I don't have much other in terms of important dates and reminders there. I've got a doctor's appointment, a meeting with our house builders. I think I want to film an update video. Let me know down below if you would be keen on me kind of filming a video going through everything that has <laughs> gone right and gone wrong with buying land to build a house at the moment. I could definitely film a big story time there. This meeting is to find out if our build contract is being cancelled. So there's that. Bills, I want to just put $800 per paycheck to target bills. And of course my pen went empty mid filming this and then instead of actually putting some physical reminders because i've got all of this other space for important dates and reminders i just wanted to do like a little reminder to self so the more you plan to do the more overwhelming it gets now we can do my goals my personal finance health and social goals for the month of march
We have I want to read three books this month. I don't care what medium. They can be finishing off audiobooks, reading on my Kindle app, or physical books. No, we can work bar marking. So I will have marking season in here, so I might need to do some weekend work of that. But other than that, I don't want to leave myself any planning or anything like that to do on a weekend. I'm also going to add in here minimum two copy dates with other half because that is a priority. $1,000 of sinking fund growth. I want to try to hit this again. Cushion growth in my bank account and begin April build prep. I'm obviously thinking of some while I'm going through them, so I should have spent more time thinking about it when writing it. It's okay. Health-wise, I want to walk the dog weekly. I still want to try to do this. I need to get my doctor situation sorted. Um, and then limit weekend eat out. So I want to find some balance there regarding with how much I eat out on the weekend. Um, social media. So so week ahead content planning. Um, I want to do gifted content again, same brand. I just love them and I'm so grateful that they've reached out to me again. I want to stick to my new schedule. So my new schedule is that I post an Instagram post every Tuesday and Saturday and that I post a YouTube video every Thursday and Sunday with some bonus posts here and there, depending on what I have on the agenda and how much I can get prepared. So that'll be my new schedule. So I want to stick to it. And then I want to invest in a new intro and logo. And that is my March. So let's check in on my yearly goals now. Okay, read 30 books, hit goal weight, walked up weekly, 20K, Ooh, finish a hand with envelope. Okay, so there's one thing that I can highlight off, and that is the decrease side hustle. So I'm officially off the books at my retail workplace, and I'm officially off the books in terms of tutoring. So I have officially pulled, pulled that plug, and that's the only thing that I can update on here at the moment. I want to show you my system. So I said for my scheduling... I said that I wanted to get a week in advance in terms of my social media prep. So I wanted to show you the new kind of system I have going on with. We have here, I've just made myself a little Google doc so that I can see it on my phone as well. But I've got my social media schedule. So Tuesdays and Saturdays are Instagram, YouTube, uh, Thursdays and Sundays. I create every all my Instagram posts and stuff in Canva and I edit all my YouTube videos in iMovie. So if I've bolded it, it means that I've actually already prepared it and I've got a spot for bonus. So I've got a bonus post, which means Instagram going up for the next two weeks and I have planned out a few of them already. So that means if it is bolded, it means that I've already created the graphic for it and I've written the description down here. I can't believe how far in advance I got myself, but I just really wanted to set myself up. So I haven't, I'm filming now this monthly reset that'll go up on Sunday. It'll mean my whole week is prepared for and it is only the 28th. So then the goal will be to by next weekend, hopefully next weekend, the focus will be trying to get the content for next week ready to go. Because I work full time, I really do need to make the most of my weekends and I'm constantly thinking about, okay, when I get home from work this afternoon, what can I do to prepare my YouTube and my social media stuff? So I'm hoping that this system just really helps me. And if I get myself a week in advance, I'll have some leeway if kind of if shit hits the fan in my life. So yeah, I thought I would share that with you today. And then last but not least, we'll get my book back out to show you what books I've read this month. So I'm hoping I can just talk about them while I color them in. But this month it looks like I read four books. So we're gonna start with Selling Scarlet. I read this one on my phone and I've owned it for years. I just kind of saw it there, not read. So I thought that I would read it and it was interesting. It was a little bit like erotic. It was a little bit weird. I don't know if I would have put it on my TBR if I like knew what it was going to be, but it was definitely interesting. I don't regret reading it. I did give it four stars because mystery, quite sexual read, but yeah, it was good. <laughs> 
I'm pretty sure it was free as well. I don't think I paid for it back in the day. I think I downloaded it for free. So I suppose that counts as extra points. The Crucible, now I read this one because my year 11 students are about to write an essay on it and I really enjoyed it. I mean, like we read the play, we listened to parts of the play, we'll be watching the movie soon. And I always find with texts like this, like if I was just choosing it to read for fun, I mean, I wouldn't. But when you're analyzing it, it gets so much more fun. And it's really cool looking at the fact that it's based on what happened in Salem in 1692 with witches and how that relates to the hysteria that passes through our society now. So that's actually really interesting and cool and fun. And I'm actually quite jealous of the students that they get to write an essay on it. But at least I get to read a billion essays on it. <laughs> so I rated that one five stars. So yeah, the fact that it's almost a classic and I rated it five stars, that's a big deal for me. <laughs> I'm very much a YA consumer. Okay, then we have the Kiss Quotient. This was not anything like I expected it to be. I rated it four stars, but I really particularly enjoyed the look into the minority perspective, particularly that of a female autistic character. I don't quite know if I liked the fact that it was so sex focused, but I mean, every book to its own, if that was the purpose of it, I, I wasn't expecting it to be, but yeah, I, I really in, enjoyed that one. Just the male characters always seem a little bit unrealistic to me with how thoughtful and sensual they are like it was definitely like targeted towards the female perspective there so I guess I can't really complain but yeah that's that's my thoughts there and then reminders of him by Colleen Hoover this one broke me so if you want like full-on summaries of these or not necessarily not spoiler but if you want my like official opinions in the moment immediately after finishing them head over to my instagram because i have a highlight reel of all of the books that i've read over the last year and beyond so since the start of last year and yeah there's all of my ratings and opinions on there this is just like a little overview while i update my planner but yeah i finished reminders of him yesterday i read it over the span of maximum 48 hours it was amazing stunning broke my heart into a million pieces and it took me about three or so hours to recover from the emotional hangover headache that I had from sobbing while reading it and yeah I would read it again and feel that pain again honestly like it was so good I have already sought out another coho book to read and started reading it because I would just needed more instantly. And the fact that I've been told that it's not her best book or her most emotional book just like has me so excited for what's to come. Oh my God, look at me sounding like a bookworm. This is new. <laughs> this is new territory. I haven't been a bookworm since high school. So I'm really enjoying that. It's, you know, the start of March and I've almost filled up that whole category already. That's kind of cool. Kind of cool, kind of fresh. Okie dokie. Thank you so much for joining me as I set my intentions and goals for the month ahead and reviewed my last month. I look a little bit disheveled today, but this is what happens after a weekend of basically being stuck in the house in the rain. I wanted to kind of like refresh on a Monday morning. I haven't even finished my coffee yet. I probably won't be leaving the house today, but I really wanted to get this done. I hope that it's real. My face is so puffy, but yeah. Oh my goodness. I totally forgot that I was going to make myself a personal goal of wearing jewelry every day in the month of March. Let's just know that that's like an intention, right? My intention is to wear jewelry every day in the month of March, just to make myself appear a little bit more ready, a little bit more prepared, put in a little bit more effort with my appearance. Cause if you're putting jewelry on, you're probably going to do other things that'll make you look a bit, a little bit nicer. And I feel like there was something else as well that I just thought of that I was going to do this month. Oh, I want to be more intentional with my skincare routine. I have already been doing these things. So through February, I noticed myself really making more of an effort in my skincare routine and wearing jewelry. So I wanted to make them like official goals, but we'll just make them official because I've told you. Um, so yes, I want to, my skincare routine, I want to make sure that I'm cleansing my face properly because these 
are from masks. I am not a person that gets acne or a lot of pimples. And yeah, I've really noticed since this whole mask, mask situation that I have had a lot and I can't seem to get rid of them. So now that on the 4th of March, we're going to be mask free, I'm hoping to repair my skin. I have been consistently putting money into my Beautify envelope because I always plan to get go get like a microdermabrasion and just like shed the skin um, when masks were over. So I might even think about that potential booking that in for April for my self-care routine. So we'll see. I hope you did enjoy this video. Make sure to go down below and click like and subscribe and hit the bell to be notified every single time I post a brand new video, which will be on Thursdays and Sundays. So put that in your calendar, 6 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. And I appreciate you for being here. So bye.